Yeah. Yeah. So we are cleaning up. Um, this is this was done in 2014 uh, for the first on the wall festival. So people painted this one, um, but it's going to get painted over <laughs> over the next week. And the city hall is done. Bye, Bye city hall. Thank you. For our, our piece is called um, Turtles Down by the Shore, and uh, we are making a giant turtle. And we're going to subdivide it, and maybe I think we might do it in the sort of style of a painted turtle, maybe, <clears throat> which is one of the turtles that are found right here at the harbor, Inner Harbor. And but people will then have a chance to do an inside piece in whatever way they want. So I think it's going to be kind of a funky, crazy sort of <laughs> big giant turtle. I like that. So the Friends of Kingston Inner Harbor. Um, sponsored this event way back in 2014 and it was a little bit of a struggle because city staff um, and city council were not necessarily happy with the idea of uh, street art in Kingston partly because the Downtown Business Improvement Association did not approve of street art thinking it much like tagging and were very concerned that it would encourage more tagging on the buildings which is a major concern for them. But for you know to have this this platform to be able to give back to the community in that kind of way, like to be able to give graf graffiti in a positive kind of way with that kind of spin is pretty cool. Council agreed to waive the graffiti bylaw for the year and allow um, artists, young artists and older artists to have a whole week without fear of the police or fines to actually explore uh, their work for a week on the wall. And it was great fun. Yeah, so I'm thinking this is such a beautiful place where people come and hang out, they chill, look at the river, have a couple of cold ones, and I so, I so was hoping that the text would be a part of their dreamscape as they spend time here. And over the days while I was here, a lot of people, tourists, go by and they're happy to see it happening. They love it. They think Kingston's great. Well, all the on-the-wall artists are prepping their walls, and in this case, finish, you know, well on the way to finishing their walls. So it is the first day of the on-the-wall painting portion of the event. I think it's a great way to refresh this particular wall in the city, uh, to showcase a lot of the city's great artists, and to really highlight this park as one of the one of many of the city's great parks. You know, looking out over the Cat River, we've got part of the KMP Trail, the Woolen Mill, you know, it's it's a great place to be. Uh, well we were walking down here one day and then just all the different styles all in one place along the whole wall. You know, went from dinosaurs to turtles to everything. It was just really fa it was like being in a museum, you know, going to an art gallery. So but it was such a neat idea for the park. And uh, so we came every day to watch them, and uh, yeah, it's, it's great. It's the biggest paintbrush I think I've ever used. <laughs> yeah, see, this is what my, I'm trying to accomplish on there, on that wall. This is the first and only picture I've ever made. And Mary was a sweetheart and nice enough to let me do it on the wall, so. This is a turtle, mud turtles. They're coming out of the ocean up to the light, see? They're down in uh, all the darkness there. And they're mud turtles coming up to the surface, eh? To the light. It's hard to say what the right color is, but that isn't it. So uh, that's uh, a train built in Kingston by the Canadian Locomotive Works Kingston Division. It was made in 1878 and made it into Snow Road Station 1883. But if you look at the people who are sitting on it, and they're living back in logging country, and all they've seen is horses and oxen for power, and this thing comes in billowing smoke and spewing steam and an enormous noise, it had to be the same as us watching the space shuttle go up. I mean, there's no other way for them to perceive it. And uh, I would love to have been there and watched that reaction, so I'm trying to recreate that sensation here today. I'm exploring currently how everybody's reality comes from the inside. So like, you manifest your own circumstances. Like you can create your own reality, and that all comes from your inside thoughts, your inside being. And I also am trying to show 
through the use of color that everybody's insides uh, are different. Um, and it's just flowing with your own flow, I guess. So that's what I'm, I'm working on. This is my first uh, large piece towards that concept, so we'll see how it develops. Most murals are, are painted over or disappear. They're, they're, because they're, they're usually temporary. They're usually part of something that is going to change and transition into something else with time. And this is uh, really frequently, it's outside the, the artist's um, control. It has nothing to do with that. It's neat. I think like anyone should be allowed to use it for creativity or whatever. There should be more stuff like this, like just free walls. To, kids could practice that kind of stuff without getting in trouble or whatever, you know. It'd be nice to see because it's not that bad of a thing for people to be doing. Expressing creativity, getting in touch with your creative side is always a good thing, I feel so. There needs to be more of this kind of stuff everywhere, especially like, yeah, like schools, stuff like that, you know. I love history, but I, I probably wasn't uh, so good at it back in high school, but uh, I think just becoming uh, uh, an artist and, uh, and, and doing what I do, it's, it's really, it's, uh, it's, it's been a beautiful you know, experience just uh, learning about even this piece I'm going to be doing with Molly Brandt, actually. I, uh, uh, that was brought up by, by Mary. Uh, I'm learning about someone I didn't really know, you know, up until... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> a few weeks ago, so, <laughs> and uh, and she's just uh, reading up on her and, and, and what what can be found in, in the archives. Is, uh, she's a pretty remarkable woman. I think the law should be legal. <laughs> I think it's a uh, great way to showcase um, graffiti being used as a form of expression and in a beautiful way. I think that if there were more spots like this where you know it's not considered vandalism, that would be a positive thing for uh, people in the community. And this is a good start to start promoting that for sure. Everyone angles their can away when they first start and it's all about how close you can keep the nozzle at a consistent speed and rate give you the more consistent of a line. When you like when you first start your lines will go in and out, in and out, in and out, all patchy while like you see like there's little variation between the thicknesses here. And that's what you want. It's like and one uh, and like the more the less like you stop and start, the more like consistent it is. That's why you always try to like one pull a line. It's like you you'll get like a bunch of like angles. It won't be as smooth like you'll see like the tick right where it like came in. Got a good steady hand. Hopefully. Yeah. See, I got caught on that. It's the second battle. Yeah, you can't drag your hand against there either. It's all like the surface. They're looking better than I thought they would. That's right. Oh boy. Look at you. There you go. You're natural. Now, is there any special kind of paints? Yeah, we'll go down. This is, this is paint that's made specifically for oh, it is. Okay. painting on a wall. If you, here you go, Lula. This has a lot more pigment in it. So it's a much more saturated color. And also, you can tell Lucy's painting very close to the wall. It's low pressure. If you were to use Rust Oleum or Trem Clad, yeah. And you got that close, it would all bounce back, back okay. and you'd see a lot of overspray. Because I do, you know, I, I do. Uh. Is it? Yeah. Maybe your finger cut and tell Yeah. <laughs>
painting the letters for Hart, Hart's school. It's for uh, they're painting a mural for them, and it's to uh, to be a showcase wall for them on Saturday. And I won't be here, but I am a participant at the Hart Studio. I do work there. I'm only there full day Thursdays, half day Wednesdays. But starting in September, I'm going to be going to the Seniors Workshop on Francis Street. I'm going to be carving wooden in a wood carving course, and I'm going to be carving uh, real animals out of wood. I'm winging it. I have no plan. I'm just uh, going with the flow and seeing how the piece develops. We're, we're illustrating something more Kingston oriented, which I really like. So we have the windmills and on Wolf Island and some boats and we're going to be adding a kite soon and I think it's just really representative of like our whole city. Yeah, and I really don't fun. know why we have those <laughs> colors specifically there, but because I they're really, pretty. They're pretty, but also <laughs> Kaboom, like it's, so it's like as yeah. an after school program we do and it's all kids there. Well, kids, it's teenagers, teenagers there. Yeah. And so it's And this is our section. Yeah, it's teenagers um, who like <laughs> who are like <laughs> who do you it's, are and so um, I think that you'll find that my piece will be very heartwarming. And I'll leave it at that, a little teaser. I was, and I, and I did. And I got really excited watching everybody do the walls. So um, I decided the next time they had um, the wall painting that I was going to paint a wall. I've never painted a wall before, so this is my first wall. And uh, it's really big. <laughs> it's bigger than I thought it would be. I painted a small painting for it, and now I have to blow it up like a hundred times, I think. So it's kind of fun. I'm really excited about it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's great. Awesome. That's great. Thank you so much. The North End is, in, as when I was growing up, it was like maybe not the, the best neighborhood we live in. Um, and I think that every single step we make isn't, is, is, is positive. Like it's the, what we've done to this space, the murals. Um, if we can start pushing up into, into the city more, that's even better. Um, but that's in the future. Yeah, we nailed those clouds. <laughs> yeah, the clouds are the best part. Uh, I can't tell you what uh, uh, what an amazing event this is. You know, I, I really, really believe in the power of the arts and what that does for our community and in the importance of having arts that are accessible to everyone, that are inclusive. And I think this is really the spirit behind this, uh, to have so many different artists come and to be able to, uh, to express and, and to be able to show their talents uh, for everyone to enjoy, I think it's just absolutely fabulous. Uh, so we're certainly happy to support it, Mary. Uh, I know I speak for all of council when I say that, and, and you may know that um, we're, we're working on uh, a plan with our bylaws to be able to make something like this a permanent feature. And uh, I would certainly support that, absolutely. 100%. I can't say enough wonderful things about the leadership that we have seen through Marty, uh, sorry, through Mary and Matt. This is amazing. Please, everyone, join me in a round of applause for Mary.
check it out. Who is that guy? Oh, the shirt, right. You'll remember. Have a great night. Thanks for stopping by, guys. Yeah, have a great night. Come on, Brian. We've got to go home. So, whenever you're ready, just try to let go and see how long you can search for. You can always reach right back on to me. Nice. That was very awesome. not a permanent piece, so it would be curious to see what happens to to the painting as, as the seasons go by and as visitors, visitors to the park come by and how people choose to add to the wall or take away from the wall, change it. And, um, uh, the colors also uh, will, some of the colors will fade, some will not. So, just uh, see how it evolves. Yeah, it's been a wonderful day. It's been a pretty steady flow of people just coming through and relaxing in the park and enjoying themselves and sitting down and looking at this piece of art and that piece of art and doing a little bit of painting themselves or dancing or you know, sitting down at the poetry table or getting the kids involved, making little bunnies or all sorts of things. So I'm very happy with the fact. I love arts events where people actually participate and do things and don't just sit and be passive.